Okay, time to continue our quest through Icewind Dale. Oh, yes. this. Right. I shall do my best. I am off. Okay, so let's uh, recap here. There you are. All is set. The others are assembling as we speak. Are you ready to leave as well? Okay, so. So it was that the patchwork militia set off from. Okay, so we're gonna skip this because uh, we already saw this last time, so. And there's the hermit dude. So, this is where we left off. I am ready. I am on. And of course, after our rough start last time, uh, I think we got our bearings back in order. out of this. Serena and I are my, uh, Serena and myself are the only, uh, meleeers. Everyone else is the shooting type. Well, of course, there's never anything useful. Except for arrows. Yes! Hey, 
neighbor calls me. Okay, there's a goblin marshal up there. What does he want? What am I doing here? Of course, not all goblins are idiots. Just most of us. What is the buzzing in my head? I don't know. Something's in my head. It's whispering to me. My mind can't understand it, but something inside me. Something inside me does. I have to answer it. Okay, so we've got to find out exactly what this goblin's deal is. Chief of Bleeding Eye, bow before me and pay tribute. Do not mock Chief of Bleeding Eye. You give tribute now or die. You insult me. Wolves will feed on your flesh tonight. I'll see about that. A reasonable request. Boy, all I got really just got wasted. But I think if I remember correctly I here, uh... some time to kill. Yeah, he's better with a short sword than he is with the long sword, so I'll hang on to the longsword because he could use that as well. Oh, all right. I am ready. I shall do my best. What is your will? Certainly. Two extra gold pieces. Quickly now, I shall do my best. After a little bit of gold, never hurting anyone. Yes, I will do as you ask. Let's it is a shame that we must respond. Oh, I know the routine. Show me a target, the and I'll words. smash you. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll go to the temple in Kaldahar. I know the way. Now that the goblins are dead, it'll be easy to get there. Bye. Oh, yeah, so it's like my character. Oh, two of my characters leveled up. Very nice. You can now start using level two spells, which is always nice. All right, now she can actually start learning another uh, skill. Hmm. Hmm. What should I use? 
I think probably a single weapon would be best suitor. So. Seems like that, uh. Oh, it seems like that, uh. Serena's really gonna level up. Probably the fastest out of all my characters. Skinny people. No, no. Walk here from my cave. Need to answer call. Now cannot. And the head. It hurts. Gary wants to pound head against wall to make head okay. Hmm. Maybe you're right. No, no. What to do? Okay, so now we gotta figure out exactly what's going on with his head now. Yes. Hmm. And there is something we can do to uh, alleviate his headache other than uh, take a couple I aspirin and uh, give him a call in the morning. something to do with over here. Yeah. 
Labor calls. What is your will? Quickly now. Agreed. I shall do my best. Fighting their way through the goblin-infested valley of the pass, the survivors of the doomed East Haven expedition at last came upon the small hamlet of Kaldahar. Nestled within the roots of a massive oak tree, the tiny cottages were a welcome sight for the weary travelers. As the party approached the town, a warm breeze blew over them, chasing away the chill of the frozen pass and carrying with it the sweet scent of cooking fires. So I might not have mentioned this last stream, but I failed to see the point of uh, having scrolling text and the narrator at the same time, especially considering that the uh, <sighs> text scrolling is so much slower than the narration speaking. <laughs> You know, considering that I'm his only human friend, it's a little uh, cuckoo in the head. But anyways, you should probably go see him. He'll be waiting to talk to you too. He 
lives across this bridge on the other side of the road. Just look for the house with the three big rocks out front. Servant, clean sour makes bags cook tasty food for the master. Hopefully, he become food someday too. Or Ruck, the master, great wizard. The master is. Weenog serves the master, so one day he can be a great wizard too. The master is in study through door. Go in if he wants to speak with the master. Weenog not allowed in study. The master keeps powerful magics in there, bugs, papers, and wizard things that Weenog not understand. Including some X rated stuff, but more about that later. I am right, certainly. Agreed. Alright. Well, now, what have we here? It's been a long time since I've had guests. Welcome. My name is Oric. Oh dear, I'm so bothered here. What brings you to my humble home? Ah, yes, the disturbances. I'm afraid I can't be of much help to you there. I rarely leave this tower for any reason, you see. I'm antisocial. And I don't like people who come into my tower asking me such stupid things. My studies prevent me from taking an active interest in the affairs of the people of Keldar. Their problems are no concern of mine. I've had many homes. Kaldahar is not the first and certainly won't be the last. It is unfortunate that these simple folk have been made to suffer so, but I have no desire to get involved. All that matters to me is my work. Everything! Knowledge is the one true source of power in this universe. Everything else is fleeting. I have spent years collecting these tomes and scrolls you see before you. They are my life's work. Contained within their passages are the clues that may one day unlock the mysteries of an ancient and nearly forgotten arcane lore. My studies revolve around the arcane lore that deals specifically with the creation of mythos. A mythos is a powerful elven enchantment that is essentially a weave of protective magic that can be cast over a vast area. I've discovered numerous historical accounts of elven mages laying such mythos over an entire city. The details of the accounts are vague at best. The mages of the old elven kingdoms vanished long ago, retreating to the safety and isolation of the Isle of Everbeat. It seems that all their written knowledge of mythical enchantment has vanished with them. For over a decade, I have traveled the realms, searching for remnants of this forgotten lore. That is what brought me to Kaldahar. Not exactly. While exploring the fabled ruins of myth Draenor, I came across an old tattered manuscript buried amid the rubble of an abandoned library. The manuscript made several references to an elven outpost located somewhere within the spine of the World Mountains. Naturally, I came here to find the settlement. Thus far, I have been unable to locate it. I appreciate your interest. If by some miracle you find this lost of an outpost and happen upon any material regarding mythos, please deliver them to me here. I am willing to pay a handsome reward for such a service. I see. Well, you've come to the right place. I can certainly provide you with a number of useful spells for your spell book. Of course, I'm only willing to offer you certain spells. I didn't say all of them, just certain ones. Remember that. I fear much of the knowledge I possess is beyond your comprehension. Perhaps in the future you may be worthy of such advanced knowledge. Oof. Wait, a lot of this stuff is expensive. It seems like he's the only one who could, uh... Oof. Boy, a lot of this stuff is super expensive. But Identify is actually one of the most useful spells, so yeah. I think Sleep Out, I think you can learn. What is your... I am off. Oh, Raven Feebleman is one I want to get. Hmm. 
yeah, Charm Person is one spell I definitely want to get. Along with, uh... I will assist you in any way possible. Yeah, Identify is definitely one I want. Oh, we can't learn any free spells, that's right. All right. Well, we'll be back later. I shall do my best. Certainly. So the wind blows, travel seek shelter, and supplies, perhaps, mayhap? Good day and cheer to you, sir. My name is Gert. I tell you by the cut of your cloth and your bearing that you are a visitor. Rush to Kaldar, is there something you wish to purchase? This is my shop, my friend. What did you think this was, a brothel? I supply caravans in the shade of this great oak. This shop was my father's, and my father's before him. And it dates almost three generations back, if you can believe it. Like many of the places in Kaldahar and the surrounding lands, there is much history to be found if one digs deep enough. Yeah, I wouldn't go so far to say that. I dabble in time's passage, perhaps, but it is not a full-time occupation. Merely a hobby. I just wish I was getting paid to do this. I do enjoy learning more of the past and examining trinkets from around the area. I have quite a collection of mus little museums of sorts, some call it junk, but... Keys, notes, books on the region. If you happen to come across any of your travels, I'll pay a fair sum and take them off your hands. I purchase such things only for my own interest and to preserve the history of culture of the region. And you do not end up on a rattling caravan to some Kalimshan market. That's for certain. Most certainly. Looks like you can't identify anything. Yes, I shall do my best. Certainly. So good. Do you want a room or not? My end's the only thing in town, so we don't even think about it. We're planning a good deal anywhere else. Yeah, why? Some towns say something different. Yeah, we got a little space left, but I don't want to hear any haggling over the prices, you hear? Yeah. 
What a reasonable request. Quickly now. What are you doing? Yes, a reasonable request. I shall do my best. A reasonable request. Welcome, stranger. What can I do for you? My name's Conlon. I'm the local smithy of these here parts. If you need a sharp blade or stout mace, I'm the man to see. Best take advantage whilst I'm here. I, I suppose so. With all the skullduggery that's been going on around here, I imagine I'll not be around much longer. Ha! I wish that were possible. The Southern Pass has long since been snowed in by this damnable weather we've been having lately. Now we're here to tell that even the northern route to the Ten Towns has been blocked for by an avalanche. Mark my words, none of us will last through this winter. We're all done for. Hmm. Not much for me to live for, really. My Mary passed a few years ago from the fever, and now my son's gone missing. Snatched out of his bed in the middle of the night, right up from under my nose. He was just a boy. Uh, if I knew, do you think I'd be standing around here pounding that metal? He just vanished, I tell you. Gone without grace. Even old Arendelle couldn't find a trail, and he's got a nose for such things. I imagine whatever took him will come back for me next. I can't say it'll be unwelcome. Okay, so that's just an arrow plus one. Suppose I got some time to kill. I think it's a two weapon silent, which means you can do double handed. I am ready. I shall do my best. Do as you ask. A reasonable request. There were strangers in town, but I didn't believe it. You for me, Saber? How did you get through? My sympathies for your fallen comrades. What happened? This is that is grim news indeed. I fear things here in Kalnahar are not much better. You may wish you'd stay in East Haven. What did you want to know about Kaldar? Or did you want to know that what's been going around Kaldahar? This winter has been a season of evil here in Kaldahar. People banishing sun, storms, monsters sighted in the past. It's all going to get a lot worse before the year is done. Mark my words. <sighs> Ask some of the other town folk. They might know something I don't. And you never know what bit of information they got in their heads they might randomly cough up when asked. That's the Tower of Orc the Grey. Fortunate we are to have a wizard this far north. Friendlier than most spellcasters I've known. He values his privacy, but I still see him tip back a tinker or two with the best of them at the root cellar. He's got some gum that does chores for him. Archdruid of Kaldahar? 
friend, there is no Archdruid of Kaldahar. I hope you didn't travel through the past to find one, else your journey's been in vain. Well, there's old Arendelle. We've seen him talking to birds, but we figured that he was, well, a little touched in the head. Could he know that you could be he knows where you'd find a druid? Southwest section of town. There's a two-story house embedded into the tree. It looks like a big stone wall with a door. That's Arendelle's house. It's just south and east of Kaldahar Run, east of the bridge. Quickly, agreed. I am off. Let's see what the locals have to say at the local tavern. I will do as you ask. Well now, seems the past coughed up one more straggler. Welcome to the rude cellar, stranger. Name's Whitcomb. What's your pleasure? A drink? Something from the kitchen? Hmm. Let's see what you got. Yes, I shall do my best. A room? Sorry, but I can't help you, friend. Try the evening shade. Cross town. The innkeeper's bound to have some rooms to let and desperate to let him them do, since the passes aren't going to see any caravans for a while. I am ready. I shall do my best. So I know I'm supposed to talk to Arendelle right now, but I, do as you ask. I have a few more things to take care of. I shall do my best. By Tempas, the vision speaks true. You are the heroes from my dreams. Our paths have not crossed until this day. I am Yuldair, son to Refrik. Elder and shaman to the tribe of the bear. The vision is why I have come to this place. Tempas has guided me to you. This I cannot say. I know only that the storm of war darkens the skies of my homeland. My people are gathering in numbers greater than any have seen for generations. A king, both new and old, has risen to lead the tribes against the Ten Towns. Already, the first snows of winter bear the dark stains of spilt blood. You must understand, I have read the signs. Tempas will not favor either side in the coming battles. Both my people and those of the towns shall be haunted by countless deaths without honor. I have cast my spirit into the nether realm in search of a way to prevent what must not be. My vision quest led me here to find you. Wolfdane is his name. He was a great warrior from an elder tribe who was slain in battle on the eve of last season. Now his body has returned from death's halls to lead my people once more as king. Wolfdane's flesh is but a vessel, a borrowed tool. The spirit of the new king is much, much older than the form it now inhabits. It is said that the spirit of Jared governs his body. It is this claim that has fueled the fires of vengeance among my people. The same. You know our history well. Now, after centuries of imprisonment, Jared's spirit is free and rallies the tribes once more in a common cause. You must understand. I have read this. I have cast my spirit in. You must come to Hengoro, to the great mead hall where the tribes have gathered. You alone can forestall the war between our peoples. Maybe some other time here. Yeah, because I think that's where the... Run! The males filled with yetis try to outrun them, but two of them still chasing me. Run! Get out! Sounds like we got some company. Bring it on! Oh, Jesus Christ. There goes, uh... Where's my 
a spellcaster. Looks like I'm gonna have to go on a killing spree. Jeez. Well, it's like on my even number of characters that I leveled up. Spell. Nice. Where traveler, are you in need of aid? Of course, what service in particular do you need? When the blessings of the broken god are upon you, for you stand before the house of the bleeding rose, this is a place dedicated to the worship of the lord of the rag, Belmada. All who are in need of succor are welcome here. Please step inside and revered sister Kaliana shall ease your suffering, friend. So more or less, Kaldahar is the hub. Welcome, friend. I am Brother Glass, faithful servant of Elmada. Be at peace, while you are on the of the one who endures. Yes, on numerous occasions, it is not really much of a coincidence considering that we are twins. Yes, well, is there some other... Yes, well, is there some way I may be of assistance to you, friend? Of course, revered sister Kaliana is at prayer upon the altar. She is more than capable of tending your two wounds. She can also offer you what few curatives we have left in our humble temple. I'm afraid so. The good people of Kaldaha have suffered greatly of late. In sharing their burns, we have nearly exhausted our supply of potions and antidotes. Though I hear tell that one might find such items elsewhere in town. The gnome, Oswald Fiddlebender, is known to dabble in alchemy. He lives in that contraption on the bridge above this temple. It is also rumored that Oryk, the mage, possesses certain arcane items. He's a bit of a recluse, though. He lives in a small tower on the far side of town, to the west. What agreed? Bring my dead friend back. Greetings, friend. You are welcome in the house of the Bleeding Rose. May the healing hands of Elmada lift your bones and set your tortured soul at ease. You have been informed correctly. As acting head of this temple, it is my privilege to bestow whatever aid I can upon those in need. No small task, I might add, what with all the troubles that plagued this town as of late. Up until a, week, a few weeks ago, revered mother Agena proceeded over this house. Alas, she, like so many others in town, has gone missing and is presumed dead. Being the next highest ranking member of this clergy, I have assumed the duties of the head of this temple until either she or revered brother Copeland returns. Oh, perhaps, we're not quite sure. She grew tired of standing by while the people around us were being snatched up in the night, so she decided to hold a midnight vigil on the outskirts of town in hopes that she too might share in the suffering of those taken. That was the last we saw of her. Her fate remains a mystery. Revered brother Polkalin is a visiting senior priest of Ilmatic. He passed through Kaldar several days ago on a pilgrimage in the monastery of the Weeping Lilac in Bryn Shander. He traveled quite a ways all the way from, from Cormir, I believe is what he said. 
He must be from those distant regions, for he bore a holy symbol of ill matter that was unfamiliar to me. In any case, he promised to return with aid once he reached Bryn Shander. I hope he is all right. Oh, Jesus. 600. Wow. Well, unfortunately, my character's not an elf, but... Holy Christ. Well... Wow. That's extremely pricey. Do my best. I guess we have to go to Girth then, I guess. There's Arendelle's home. Wow. I can't sell the winter. Jeez. Stuff is so flippin' expensive. What is your labor calls me? Labor calls me. Wow, so it's gonna be a while before I can resurrect my mage. Is. I shall do my best. Agreed. Quickly now. Labor calls me. Agreed. Certainly. swift wings in these mountains. I know about your expedition from East Haven. I know why you were here, for it was I who sent for you. I am Arendelle, known to some as the Archduke of Kaldahar. Though I invite you to dispense with the formalities and just call me Arendelle, plain and simple. Titles tend only to serve one's own vanity and aren't really of much use in this small mountain community. Yes. It was I who sent Hallister to East Haven for help. His death weighs heavily upon my conscience. For not only was he a student of mine, but he was also a friend and trusted companion. He will be missed. As will Rothgar and the other members of your expedition. Oh yes, I know. I also know that it was no accident. Someone or something did not want your party to reach Kaldahar alive. There are malevolent forces at work in these mountains. Forces that seek to undermine the delicate balance we druids have struggled to preserve for centuries. Oh, what did I could? The face of the evil remains hidden, but its presence is unmistakable. All about us, there are signs of its damaging influence on the balance. The unnatural weather, the recent rash of abductions, the numerous monster sightings in the pass. These all point towards something sinister. Even the animals sense something is amiss. I can only tell you of what little I know. Which disturbances would you have me speak of? Oh, the weather in these mountains has always been harsh, but never like this. Fierce storms ravage the valley without warning, often lasting for several days at a time before vanishing as quickly as they come. 
It is barely midway into Leafall, and yet the pass to the south has been snowed in entirely. Weather such as this is most unnatural. The balance. It is what the druids of Kaldahar hold sacred and have worked to preserve for generations. It is all around us. It is us. Balance is the harmony that is achieved when man and nature learn to coexist, no longer contending with one another, but coming together as two parts of a whole. Balance is the belief that this town is built upon, the very reason for its existence. Druids of Sylvanus, the Oak Father, have tended this shrine since the beginning. For hundreds of years, we have striven to achieve the ideal balance between man and nature. When settlers finally came to this pass, it was the Archdruid Tolben, my predecessor, who laid the foundation for the relationship that led to the birth of this community. The Great Oak, the massive tree that stands above us, around us, it is a holy shrine to Sylvanus. For it was he who planted its seed when Faerun was first born. It is a testament to the raw power of nature. A monument to its ability to thrive in the face of adversity. Thanks to Tolben, the great oak we druids called the Kaldahar, and the town that has come to be known by the same name, have together become a monument of even greater significance. A monument to the balance. Tolben was the catalyst for the transformation of the shrine from a sacred grove to a thriving community in which man and nature exist as one. At first, settlers were kept away from the site. The druids of old saw outsiders as an affront to the sanctity of the tree and its sphere of benign influence. They erected thorny brambles to keep intruders out used their powers to frighten away the men and women that came to build homes in a place they felt was obviously so close to the gods. It wasn't Ooh. until the succession of Archdruid Tolben that things changed. Unlike his predecessors, he believed that the settlement of the valley was not only inevitable, but it was actually the will of Sylvanus. He also believed that we had been wrong in keeping the settlers away, and that the Oak Father had intended people to share in the miracle of the Great Oak from the beginning. When Tolben finally became Archdruid, he formed a plan to fulfill the destiny of this sacred site by bringing about a union between the Great Oak Shrine and the settlers. It was this union that the Archdruid Tolben believed would achieve the harmony that we had been striving for for generations. The harmony between man and nature as it stands, Kaldahar is a monument to this vision. The tree and town exist in a natural symbiosis, where it is next to impossible to tell where one leaves off and the other begins. But now, I fear that if we do not soon discover the source of these disturbances, then all that we have worked for will be destroyed. The evil that has come to these mountains infects this town like a disease. As its people suffer, so does the tree suffer from the sickness that attacks the balance, corrupting it with its very presence. Already, the circle of warmth that radiates from the Great Oak has begun to recede. We were forced to abandon the outlying farmsteads as a result of the Shrine's fading power. If we do not take action soon, I am afraid that the life-giving warmth will cease altogether. Both the Great Oak and the town nestled within its roots will die. This must not happen. We need your help. I suggest you begin by investigating the Veil of Shadows. It is a place not far from here. Darkness has always clung to the floor of the small canyon, as if the light of the sun itself were wary of the place. There are a number of ancient crypts hidden within the shadows of the Veil's narrow cliff walls. There have been rumors of the dead awakening and emerging from their dusty tombs to walk once more amongst men. If these rumors are true, then I suspect that whatever is responsible for disturbing their slumber may be behind the other disturbances as well. Go to the Vale of Shadows, learn what you can about the happenings there, then return here and we shall discuss a course of action. Good luck and farewell. Yes. 
I shall do my best. I am off. So that's our next stop, the Vale of Shadows. I really need to get my Archmage back first. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves. It's a long ways down. Adventuring and stuff. Okay. Thanks. I thought the time to join my ancestors had finally come. That's the member set foot anywhere near the Vale. That's for certain. There's all sorts of strange creatures roaming around there now. The Vale of Shadows. My brother Silas and I made a pilgrimage there to pay our respects to our family crypt, like we do every year. But this time, I don't know. The Vale seems different. Cursed somehow. The shadows have come alive. And there's yetis roaming the paths, attacking travelers. <sighs> Silas didn't make it. The largest yeti I've ever seen tore out of the snow and took a piece out of him with its claws. He fell, dead as a stone, blood everywhere. There, there was nothing I could do. He was carrying our family heirloom, but it's lost to us now. We were taking the main path, but considering how many beasts were in the Vale, Arendelle may know a safer path you can take. He wanders the mountains quite a bit and knows of more hidden trails than there are branches of the Great Oak. Oh, I already know about this. Thank you. Now that Silas is gone, that heirloom is all I have left to remember my family by. I would appreciate its safe return. Also, if you come across any more yetis, you might want to collect their pelts once you've done away with the beast. Conlon, the blacksmith here in town, buys the pelts for a fair price. Oh, I may be able to make something out of those pelts too. Ooh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I think. I, have a reasonable request. I think, if I remember correctly, one I think can make. I think one can make a cloak or something. I'm just trying to remember. But you need a certain. But I think you need a certain amount. It's not just one pelt and boom, there you go, a new piece of armor for you. Agreed. But first things first, I gotta get my friend back. Alright. What is your will? Quickly, right, time to, I time am to go on. to the temple and get my uh, comrade back. And I need him in the worst way. Alright, so I need 45 more pieces of gold. Yes. A I'm gonna go talk to Orc and see what he can do with the pelts. Neighbor calls me. It seems like two of my uh, guys are going the wrong way. Hey, where are you guys going? This way. Do as you ask. Yeah, the navigation script is not that great. What 
is your will. Quickly now, labor calls me. All right, everyone's here. I am off. So it's resurrection that'll bring my friend labor back. Calls me. Getting belts are not the best of materials to work with, but Conlon and myself may be able to make some hide armor out of them. It's a bit tougher and stiffer than leather. I'm able to lay some enchantments into the materials as they cure. Jeez. Well. Uh. Well. What is your will? Certainly. We had a lot of pelts and uh, 2,500 gold. I am off. Dang. That's a lot of... Uh... I'm probably just better off selling them and uh, just waiting. So basically, Conlin can take the pelts first, craft them into hide armor, and then Auric could actually put enchantments on them. Resurrect our, uh, do my labor calls. Uh, our mage, and uh, let's get going. Well, actually, first things first here. I'm gonna go visit this uh, dude who lives on a ship. I will do as you ask. Oh, hello there. I need to see you come in. What can I do for you? Of course, introductions. How rude of me. Sometimes I just get so wrapped up in my work. The name's Oswald. Oswald Philomander. Why, this ship is my home. At least it has been since I crashed here over a year ago. I know, I know, she's not much look to it at. But someday I'll have her back in one piece and in the air once more. Of course it can. Or at least a good once. You should have seen it. It was amazing. It was like sailing on the sea of clouds. She's my greatest invention yet, you know. I'm glad you think so. It is called an airship. Isn't that wonderful? Airship. As in a ship that floats upon the air. Get it? Yeah, we get it. It's really quite clever when you think about it. I am an inventor of sorts. I make things, things that are meant to improve the lives of others, like this ship, for instance. I also dabble in alchemy. Would you care to sample some of the potions I have concocted? I have all kinds. Currently, I am working on a special brew for the farmers of Kaldahar, something that will help protect their livestock from the bitter cold that seems to have settled upon the valley. Several farmers were kind enough to donate some cows to serve as test subjects for my experiments. Nonsense. I would never hurt these animals, and in fact, I've come to think of them as my friends. Besides, without my help, they would all freeze to death. Uh, most certainly. I'd be more than happy to supply you with whatever potions you might need. At a fair price, of course. So this guy's pretty much our uh, go-to guy whenever we need uh, potions. Yes. Agreed. I am off. No. I am ready. I will do as you ask. Labor calls me. Ah, welcome back, travelers. You're looking a little worse for wear today. Perhaps one of my potions could put a little color in your cheeks, eh? What is I shall do my best. I have I a good off. feeling that, uh, before game's end, this guy's gonna be the richest out of all the, uh, merchants I'll be using. I have a distinct feeling about this.
quickly now. I shall do my best. Oh, because he's an elf. That's right. That's why it doesn't work out so well. But I think our characters are in pretty good shape here, so let's head out to the Vale of Shadows. Unfortunately, yeah. Luckily, though, we didn't have to start far, so that's good. So that's good to know. Oh, 
there is a trap here. Okay, this is much better. Much better. Since I don't have to worry about unconsciousness, it shouldn't be that difficult. Oh yeah, this is going way smoother. Or I just got ahead. The other traps. I shall do my best. Who are you? What do, do, do you want from me? Questions? What kind of questions? I've earned the potter, at least I used to be. No, I just want to get out of this place alive. With all the terrible things happening, I'm too scared to step, step outside my shop. This shop is my home. I used to make pottery here, but there doesn't seem to be much point anymore. I've closed shop and packed up my things. As soon as the pass is clear, I'm heading south to Baldur's Gate. I hear it's nights there. Disturbances? Yes, people disappearing, monsters everywhere, even the weather has turned against us. Nobody knows why, not even Arendelle. Yes, I am off. Agreed. 
Eh? What? This ring has an inscription on the inside that looks like the real claim to this end. Why would you be the owner when this claim says different? Oh, so now you stop lock containers in people's houses, have you? Because you accuse me of doing anything wrong. Maybe you should look for yourself. What are you doing breaking and entering? Oh, so you knew it was locked upstairs? Uh, no, no, I didn't know it was locked upstairs. Look, I don't have to blame anything. Hold on, hold on. Here's what happened. First off, I've never laid a hand on Aiden. Well, yeah. But it's not my fault. I came into the inn one night after barely making my way through Kaldahar Pass seat, and there he is, lying on the floor of the inn, cold as a stone. Now, I've been through the pass before, even talked with the old fool a bit, and I know he didn't have any family. What did you do with the body? There have been rumors of people missing, so I buried the body outside of town, and then, well, I dug up some pen and ink and set up the claim. Granted, I stripped him of his belongings, and I should have thrown away that damn ring. Look, but look, I'm not doing any harm. He didn't have any family, and this town needs an inn. I know, it's just that, I don't know, I'm sick of traveling, and I suddenly got the urge to settle. Blame the halfling in me, I suppose. Unless I didn't try to plant myself in some glorified Mulboro and smoke a stinkweed pipe until I die of boredom. Yeah, well, before you start getting any more preachy on me, it seems that you need to stop your habit of breaking and entering. That stinks of a thief, in my reckoning, that puts us about the same level. I... Hmm. Look, maybe we... I mean, what's to keep me from... All right, all right. Damn it. I'll go talk to him. Now stop bothering me. Oh, I leveled up. Nice. And I think, since he confessed, I think rent is a little bit cheaper, too. All right. Now we're cooking. And I leveled I up to boot. Nice. All right. All right. What is your will? Labor calls me. Agreed. One thing I didn't mention is that you can't sleep outside, but it's risky. Why am I carrying this leather armor? What is your will? Quick what purpose?
reasonable request. She'll do my best. Uh. I am ready. I'm gonna go back to the uh, past for a minute. Certainly. I wonder if I can cure his wounds. If this does anything. Very well. Me will smash your face. What is your I guess I guess it's a reasonable a request. Waste. A reasonable request. Outdoors. It's riskier in Baldur's Gate to camp outdoors because you're more likely to get attacked. Let's see what happens here. This is a thought. But it's going to take some time. And like I said, these lesser shadows are super Another 
crypt here. My character is diseased. I shall do my best. <sighs> here.
Oh, these are scrolls, they're not spells. Okay. Okay, so, so we got a gate key now. Great. I shall do my best. Serena really knows what she's doing. Despite the fact that she's having bad luck. Yes. I will do as you ask. Let's see if there's any traps around this time. Hey, you need me? Sit around here for just a few seconds. The traps should be uh, showing up. Sparks. Cool. I am ready. What is your a reasonable request? Let's, see, let's go about go about here and see if there's any traps. <sighs> Can't imagine there not being be a trap or two or three. traps coming about this time. I gotta get myself some more arrows. That's what I thought. I'm here. Right. Just as I suspected there'd be more traps here. Luckily Serena's here. Saves the day. Oh, this is 
spare light wounds, which I already have. Oh, it's leather armor plus one. Ooh, if these ladies would benefit from it the most, she would. Oh, that's absolutely nothing different. Armor class seven. What is your will? All right, let's get out of here. So who's next on the chunky black for leveling up? He is. He's getting close too. I think my other two guys are uh, getting close. I will do as you ask. Kind of strange that cure light wounds would be considered necromancy. I was thinking something more along the lines of like, like a clerical uh, spell. To identify a scroll, I'm definitely gonna hang on to. I am off. But the real question is, should I really consider getting that plate mail? For Edward. Class of five, armor class of 
four, so I'm gonna buy her a splint mail. I'm gonna buy a plain mail for him. All right. I am ready. I am off. A reason. So I wonder if prices reflect on who's. I don't remember if prices reflect who's buying it. Because I could have sworn that I could sell one item with my main character for like, like thirty, and another character for like fifty. So be it. I think I don't know. Let's see, okay, so this is her for ninety. Now what about me? Let me take a look. Okay, maybe not. I'm just gonna buy two of these and call it a day. Perfect. Ooh. Ooh. That's actually pretty handy. I'll have to keep that in mind. Quickly for a reasonable request. Ooh. That's pretty handy. Mummy's teeth. I'm gonna need to get some more bullets though. Then we shall continue the shadow of Veil of Shadows. I am off. equipment this time, so which means we can now travel further. is around. Uh oh, we got trouble. Alright, looks like my mage is leveled up. You can now learn one more level 2 and level 1 spell. So with that, I'm gonna have him learn Grease. this. Chromatic Orb. Oh, definitely gotta have strength. I am ready. A reasonable request. What is your will? Labor calls me. It is a shame that we must resort to violence. So who leveled up? Are we ready to do adventuring and stuff? Nice. Okay. Neighbor calls me. This 
statue depicts a cedar rope figure, his head bowed in prayer. Only my character is allowed to uh, do melee. Quickly now. The rest of you have to be uh, projectileless, except for Edward. He can be a backup shooter. More shadows. You gotta feel bad for them, you know. And also, I think I might be wrong on this, but I think the stronger your characters become... I think when you fight weaker enemies, I think you gain less experience. I think. Okay, there's the ice cave. I gotta go in there. I know the routine. Now we'll be sure you do I don't know. I don't exactly have a good memory when it comes to this sort of thing. Oh, what do we have here? Hey, can you identify this? What do we have with this one here? Shortfall plus one. What is your will? She's the one with the short bow. Alright. Quickly now. Labor calls. Alright, if my character takes damage, big whoop de do. He can handle it. He's a fighter. And so can Edward. You're gonna start carrying some of these pelts here, pal. I might have to leave some of the pelts behind. But I can always come back for them. That's ridiculous. How may I best serve? Yeah, easy enough. Way to go, Serena. Oh, some of these things we're gonna need a. Uh... For later. Oh, she's out of space. Can she wear chain mail? No, I don't think she can. Nope. Wow. 
Okay, um... He has room for two more pallets. So, what I'm gonna do is this. Okay, even that's not quite enough. You? Oh, it's 40. Holy cow. Well, just gonna have to leave it, I guess. I suppose. Jesus Christ. Well. Quickly, certainly. I know at some point I'm gonna have to, uh... Okay, so... I think I have to give this to the gnome, the airship. What is it? I'll trade ya. Okay, that should do it. I actually forget the, uh, I forget the mail armor. We're gonna go back to town and, uh, take care of a few things. Whew. make ourselves a pretty tidy little sum of money from all this. Agreed. Stop by his place first. Start selling some of the pelts. Joanne will stop soon enough. Even I need to rest once in a while. What neighbor calls me? Oh, there's the heirloom. Oh, Quickly I need to get that to Mirak. Certainly. Oh. So what kind of mace is this? Oh, it's mace plus one. All right. Fire dagger I am hanging on to. I must yes, have I rest. shall do my best. Certainly. Oh quiet, you'll get your rest soon enough. I Jesus Christ, keep your pants on, people. But perhaps we should rest. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, that's it. I get to sleep. I shall do my best. I couldn't help notice that one box in your bag. May I take a closer look at it? It appears to be a collection of gnomish tools. There may be something here I could use to repair my airship. Oh yes, look at this. Where did you find this? Yes, I think this could be very useful to me, and I suspect probably just dead weight. Just dead weight for adventurers. For the toolbox, I wanted to part with some of my best potions. I think those may be more useful in your travels than some of my musty old toolbox. What kind of potion? How about two potions of healing, a potion of visibility, and a potion of heroism? Yeah, that sounds good. Excellent, excellent. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Something from my stock, perhaps? Oh, the 
has an elixir of health, but boy, that is super expensive. I am ready. So who needs... She would probably benefit from it, so... Because if hers is 2 to 5, where she has 2 to 7, now she has 3 to 8. What is your... Certainly. Agreed. Whew. Alright, we're going to be getting close to wrapping things up. I will do as you ask. She doesn't have any more arrows. Quickly, I am off. <gasps> Excuse me. Now I gotta go best. find this Merrick character and I give him his heirloom back. Where are you? There you are. Have you found that heirloom yet? Here it is. It was in the belly of one of the largest guys. I don't think Silas made it. Uh, poor Silas. I also I'll be able to pass this down to my sons now, but please take this. It's the least I can give you for your trouble. Nice. Ooh, and my, two of my leading ladies leveled up. Very nice. And now she can now start using level 3 spells. Nice. Asking her. Yes. Definitely gotta have cure medium wounds. Oh, you've gotta have that. No questions asked. I am ready. Labor calls me. Because, like I said, what good is a cleric if they don't know how to use healing? Nobody should be getting close to leveling up at this point. Quick, a reasonable request. Yes, a reasonable request. Reasonable request. I am ready. A reasonable request. All right. Reasonable request.
neighbor calls me. All right. And that's going to do it for this session here. Um, thank you to those who watched. I will see you all next time.